Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to enable a feature called um, TFTP. And so pretty much what TFTP is pretty much like a remote computer. Not really remoting, but re transferring data on the computers across from a host and a client, pretty much how it works. Um, this is used a lot, mostly on ghost imaging and stuff like that. And lots of Linux ghost imaging too. I know that technically we kind of did some manipulations when I did this pretty much using um, Symantec Ghost 2. It's an awesome feature that I really love. But regardless, we're going to be showing you how to enable this here on Windows 11. Now technically if you want to figure out how to turn it off, I'll pretty much be showing you how to do that too. I'll be just showing you also what the features kind of shows up under command prompt 2. Also, if you want to stay for the end of the video, we'll also be giving some discounted codes like from Windows. Not giving out a codes, but a way you can get them discounted. Less than $15, like from Windows license key. Pretty much less than $15, or like Microsoft Office, less than that. Even for even for MacBooks, less than $60, pretty much, on the site below. So do stay to the end, or if not, look at the descriptions, and we'll pretty much be showing you where you can get it, and use our discount code for it. Regardless, let's go ahead and get started. So by default, Windows has changed a lot and stuff like that. And pretty much you can search this under going to apps and features by going to settings or just searching it right here, apps and features. And pretty much it's not going to be here on regular programs. You understand like that. Now on old systems, you can go to pretty much go to control panel. Let me go ahead and search this. From pretty much coming to control panel, you can go to programs. And then from here in programs, you'll see pretty much you can click programs and features, or you can just click where it says turn Windows features on and off. And this is pretty much where it takes to us. Now, honestly, if we just go to search and just type in turn Windows, I literally just typed in turn Windows, Windows on and off comes up, and you can honestly can just click it. And we're pretty much there. It's no point of going to all those steps. We can just search for it. From here, all you have to do is pretty much, as you see, there's like Hyper-V, you can enable that if you want to. You can enable pretty much the Telnet. You can honestly can enable the old .NET 3.5 that contains the 2.0 and 3.5. And a little bit of security reasons like that. Regardless, what we're looking for is the TFTP client, and we're going to go ahead and click it. And press OK. Now from there, it's pretty much going to pretend like it's searching from required files. It really doesn't. It pretty much already knows it's there. And then it'll pretty much install it right here. Okay, so here it is. It took a long time than it's usual. Usually it goes super quick. Regardless, it got installed and it is there. So now we have Telnet. Oh, yeah, not Telnet. Um, What's it called? T TFTP pretty much is what we're looking for. So here we are. Honestly, I'm going to open up Command Prompt to show you what this means. So we're going to type in TFTP. And it pretty much tells us that this is pretty much for host and for our clients and destinations for transferring data across. This is used a lot into ghost imaging into stuff like Symantec Ghost or using some Linux types of systems like that. This is pretty much the concepts for it. As you see, we typed in TFTP and this comes up. And it pretty much transfers files from remote computers from running in TFTP services. So it's pretty much set. Now, if you do not want this, I'm pretty much going to exit out. We can reverse this step by going to the start. And again, what was it called? Windows. Well, there is Turn Windows. So we're going to type in Turn Windows if it wasn't there. Turn Windows features on and off. And we come to it and we'll scroll down until you see the TFTP client and press OK. And it says it might take long. It usually doesn't take too long, but if it takes a while, we'll just let it do its work. And now it's pretty much applying changes. And now it says Windows has completed requested changes. So now I'm gonna, honestly going to test this. I'm going to type in start and I'm going to go ahead and type in CMD. And that's pretty much command prompt if you know what that is. And we're going to type in TFTP and press enter. And it pretty much tells us that TFTP is not recognized from internal or external command. Because pretty much it's disabled and it's not there anymore here underneath Windows. It's pretty much disabled on that feature. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 
Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.